Hey guys, I'm going to talk about vacuum maintenance really quick in this one. I mentioned it briefly on the first video. I've got my vacuum flipped upside down and I've been using this seam ripper to just run along cutting hairs and strings and things that are cut. This one's really not very bad, um, but sometimes I will notice that even after just like a couple of cleans, the brush is like packed with hair. If you have a big seam ripper, it works a lot better. Mine's in the car for on the go emergencies, but um, a little one will work too. And you just go along and cut the hair and then pull it out and throw that away. Um, now I use a shark vacuum. It's my very favorite. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver. It's easy to disassemble. You can lift away this portion so that you can carry it around. It came with a hardwood floor attachment with like a microfiber. I don't have it on me, but it has a microfiber um, rim and a bristle brush uh, backing and it will go through and not scratch the floors and get fine dust particles. This thing comes with HEPA filters so it can get pet hair, dander, debris, all of that stuff. Um, the handle also detaches, sorry I'm right in the sun, but the handle also detaches so as I pull it up I can stand and use it kind of like a mop um, or the top part of the handle, this part also detaches so I can use just the handle and all of the attachments fit on both the long bar and the handle up top. Um, it comes with a couple of detailing brushes. This one has a bristle brush or just the hard uh, angled brush, or I don't even know what you'd call it, a shoot. It has a shoot. Um, and then this slides up into place when it's attached. Um, and then I have a smaller, in fact, I'm gonna show you. I just cleaned this one out. See, that's all the hair that came off of it. But I have this one for stairs, and it's also got that microfiber backing, um, so it can pick stuff up. And now we're going to talk about this bed. This is a mess. I have two cats. Uh, this is Dante's king size bed, and this is Monkey. Uh, Dante, he's right there. He's on his other bed, but he hates the vacuum. So every so often, I decide to vacuum the bed to get all this cat hair. And I will use um, this, uh, what would you even call it? It's a lint brush. So what I do is I lint brush it off, then I'll go through and I'll, I'll vacuum my lint brush with this attachment. So there you have it, um, vacuum it off. And I find that that's even better than just straight vacuuming the hair because for whatever reason, the cat hair gets kind of stuck in. Um, I do that with the couches and I do that with uh, the cat's beds and the cat's towers. So that is another thing I would recommend if you have pet hair. Um, of course, vacuuming is pretty straightforward. Move things around if they're light, and then I like to use the detailing brush around furniture and that's heavy, and I also like to use it um, up against the walls. Uh, so there you have vacuuming.